Greetings all. Today we're going to be going over installing Service Desk into our GitLab application. The GitLab application is running version 11.11.3 on Ubuntu 18. To get started, we need to enable incoming email. So we'll go ahead and do that via etc gitlab gitlab.rb. We'll go ahead and go to the end of the file here. We'll paste in our configuration. I'm also going to enable SMTP just, you know, just for the fun of it. Going over our settings, um, we're enabling SMTP. We're giving it the connection information there. Uh, we're setting incoming email to enabled. We're telling it the incoming email address is GitLab-incoming and then my key. The key will be what comes into play for making issues, replying to issues and such. Uh, the incoming email, email email address, the one it's actually using to authenticate is the admin at jcollier.com with the email password, my connection information, the inbox to go in, the mailbox to go into, which is inbox and the idle timeout. With that, we're going to save it and do a GitLab CTL reconfigure and wait for that to complete. With that completed, we want to go ahead and check our incoming mail settings. So to do that, we're going to run the command GitLab break, GitLab colon incoming underscore email colon check, and then wait for that to finish. With that showing that the credentials are working and reply by email is working, we can go ahead and proceed to the next step. To do that, we're going to go over to our GitLab instance here. I've already set up a project called test project. Under issue service desk, we can find these lovely settings, which will tell us the email address that we need to use. So we're going to go ahead and copy this. So we're going to go ahead and paste this email in there, type in a subject. Where are the files? Seriously. Where are they? And then we're going to hit send. We'll wait a little bit and we should get a reply from GitLab support bot telling us that it's created the issue for us. So we'll wait for that. With that in there, we can see that GitLab support bot has thanked us for the support request and issued a thing under ticket one. So now we can go back over here to our service desk instance and refresh. And we'll now see that we have an issue created from the email we sent. And it's, you know, where are the files? Seriously, where are they? So we can go ahead and reply to this comment. They are forthcoming. And then go ahead and comment on there. Now if we go back to our email, we should see that we've gotten a reply. We can click on our email and see, they, see that the administrator said they are forthcoming. So I'm gonna go ahead and reply to this and say, okay, and send that. We can go back over here to our service desk and since wait a bit and we should see that comment come in. And there's our comment. That's really all there is to service desk. A couple things to keep in mind. The issues created this way are confidential, so they're not visible to the public. And this does require at least a premium level license. With that, we have set up service desk and we are good to go.